All right, everyone. I'm going to be gradually moving back to an evening analysis uh, since that was my norm uh, before. And I'll probably wind up doing another update video in the morning uh, just to keep up with things. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the daily bar to get some perspective. We're looking at uh, this trading lane here that uh, the market's trading into uh, for the last several months. Uh, remember, we've got this trading lane coming down uh, which is just part of a, of a bigger flag pattern. This flag pattern is, is moving along a little bit too slowly, which is why I'm now looking at this as more of a trading lane, uh, which basically means I'm looking for the market to go sideways uh, for the most part. Remember, we are coming into June. Uh, this is the summer months. Uh, we're probably going to have uh, a fairly quiet market until around the 4th of July. Uh, in fact, I would even say we're going to have a down market until the 4th of July. That's, generally speaking, uh, one of the major cycles in the market. Uh, you've also got to remember that we're coming up into uh, this resistance zone here. Uh, this is the December high from 2006. This upper line is from January. So I'm expecting the market to have a difficult time breaking through there. Although if we can get a move going up, I am anticipating that it'll be fairly quick, just like it was over here when the market finally broke through. It shot up uh, until it finally ran out of gas right up here at 21.35. Let's go ahead and look at the four-hour bar. Uh, remember, our long-term trend is up. Our midterm trend is up, but our short-term trend is down. Uh, and the short-term trend is going to be down for quite a while. In fact, um, you can see that it's in transition. Remember in the course I talk about uh, when, the, when you start getting this, where you have a mixed bag, this is where we're now moving into transition. So the, the short-term market is, I guess you could say, sideways to down, <laughs> but without trying to get too technical with it. The short-term trend is just down. Um, we're not really running into any kind of support area in between um, uh, the, uh, the high here from January, but I do want you to be aware of a couple of things. The market low here and the market high here. Let me go ahead and, and zoom this in so we can take a look at what those uh, both of these, these areas are like. Here's, here's what that line looks like here. You can see that uh, the low over here and the high over here are really containing the market. Uh, in fact, uh, when you look at where this market spiked up to and then closed, they're very close to each other. Uh, in terms of, of area. So at this point, I am looking at the market trading into a flag pattern here. Uh, remember, though, uh, we are looking at the sweet spot. is isn't going to come around again until the earliest 2.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or more than likely about 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, that's when I'm expecting the market to break one of these two areas here. Uh, of course, I'm going to be coming in to look at this uh, around 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time to see what, what has transpired over the, the resulting eight or, eight or so hours. <laughs> I guess it's about 12 hours from now. So if we do get a break, I'm looking to go uh, short down here. Uh, that's going to be right about uh, 1.9827. Uh, with a stop above this horizontal line here at 98.45. Uh, if I'm going to go long, I'm looking to go long above this line here, uh, which is going to be right about 98.75, uh, 1.9875, whoops, hopefully you can read that, uh, with the stop again below here, which is 98.46. So uh, a little bit more risk on the upside. That's just because we're looking at the sloped flag coming down. Uh, other than that, really nothing to report. The market's pretty quiet here coming into the Asian session.